I seriously have no idea why people are willing to invest thousands and thousands of dollars or like in Indian currency, like lakhs and lakhs of rupees after traditional college education, like engineering, doctors, like medical, pharmacy. I seriously don't have any idea. Hi, this is Digital Pratik and in this video, I'm going to talk about why people are willing to invest thousands and thousands of dollars after traditional college education. People are basically afraid. Trust me guys, people are basically afraid uh, to try something new, to try out of the blue, to think out of the box. Rather, I would say they are not ever thinking inside the box which they are living into. All right? People have this traditional mentality. Most of the people, I'm not saying everybody watching this video is following the principle. No, not everybody, not me at least. All right. So what I'm trying to figure out over here is uh, most of the parents right now in this current scenario of 21st century still think that the only way to succeed, the only way in which their child or their children can succeed is by going to college, uh, by attending college, by getting college degrees and getting a good job. But they are not able to see what the actual child wants. They are not able to figure out that. It's the subconscious mind which is telling them that the children should go to a college. It's the culture scape which I had read in one of the books uh, from Vishen Lakhiani. It's the culture scape. Culture scape is just simply a mass of thoughts, uh, which is like coming from years and years and ages and ages. All right. Since our grandparents, grandparents, grandparents and so on. So it's like from the ancestors, whatever is coming down, we are just developing inside our mind. And that is what has been taught by uh, our parents to us, by their parents to our parents and so on. Like people just think, I'll just mention a couple of culture scape uh, thoughts, mass of thoughts over here. Like people should get college degree by their by 22. They should get master's degree by 24. They should be getting married by 25 or 26. Uh, they should be marrying inside the same religion or caste. Uh, like the only way to uh, succeed is to get a job and by getting good degrees. These all are mass of thoughts, guys. These are all mass of thoughts. This is known as culture scape. You have to get out of that culture scape because like your mind is divided into two parts, conscious and subconscious. Now, consciously, you don't want to do that. But subconsciously, just because of those mass of thoughts, which has become a paradigm uh, inside your mind, it's not allowing you to get that new idea of not going to college and trying something new. You want to do that consciously, but subconsciously, you are having a fear of failure. You're not able to hit that terror barrier. As soon as you're hitting the terror barrier, you're just falling back. You're bouncing back to the same normal routine, which is what your subconscious mind is telling you to do. That is going to a college, getting good degree, getting good job, getting married early, getting in the same religion or caste, not having love marriage, things like that. All right. Now, whatever I'm telling you, it's not my personal opinion. It's the things which has been coming in the new technology, in the new world, in the new modern age, all right, which people should start adapting because that is how uh, their children or they themselves can actually follow their passion and build businesses or build an awesome work culture around what they actually want to do or what they actually love to do because there is a difference between liking and loving guys. Honestly, for me, it was very tough when I took that third and final drop from my college final year of college of engineering all right way back in 20 uh, like 2009 way back in 2009 i took my first drop 2010 was my second drop 2011 was my third and final drop which was very very tough and very hard decision for me to take while i used to be in the top five list of the students who used to like score marks or score good 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 grades all right. So it was very, very difficult for me uh, to convince my parents, which I was not able to do. All right. I was not able to convince my parents over there because they had that culture scape over here. That is where like students are not able to kids of this age. Now, when I say kids of this age, I do fall into that category. By the way, when I'm recording this video uh, today, it's 8th of August 2017. I don't know when you are watching this video. I'm 28 and a half years of age. So 
I ha- I am being into late twenties now. I have been into that phase of being into college, then getting some jobs, getting your work, and trying to follow your passion. What you want to love, what you love to do. All right. So I always liked circuits. I always liked engineering. I always liked those kind of subjects. I used to top in that, but I never felt or I I, I was happy. By the way, I was happy. I was not satisfied. And that's what you should be targeting for. You should always be happy, but you should not be satisfied because only then you can grow. You'll keep on learning new things. You'll keep on applying those new things which you have learned and you'll keep on sharing those things with other people. All right. And that is where you become happy always, but you never be satisfied. You'll never be satisfied. Right. So people have this mentality that only Uh, They can go to college and then they can succeed and that's the reason why because the subconscious mind is telling this to do What they are doing is they are sending their child to college and over there for medical for engineering be it any field of be it any stream of study education people always spend like a normal Indian parent Would have already spent somewhere around 10 lakh rupees on an average i'm talking about i'm not talking about the nri seats i'm not talking about the medical streams which are like on a higher scale than engineering or like whatever the case is on an average 10 lakh rupees all right after college education for one kid now instead of that why are they not allowing their child to go online to study what they want whether it's gardening if they are interested in gardening watering their plants they can learn new things and they can be so much creative in this today's digital world and they can build business out of that small little idea which they want and which they love to do that is watering plants all right they can be so creative they can put pictures of that they can have new concepts uh, of watering plants there, there is there is so much of this thing They can every single day document their journey of how they are growing that plant. They can shoot videos like this. All right. They can shoot videos like this. They can showcase their work to people who already want because there are millions of people around the world who are interested in gardening. Simply type gardening on Internet, on YouTube, on Google. You'll find tons and tons of results, guys. People don't allow uh, their kids, their children to actually do what they love to do. I'm not saying that's easy. All right. I'm not saying that's easy. I started with 300 rupees only. If you go to digitalpratik.com, you'll see how I started. All right. If you go to digitalmarketingforfree.com slash about, you'll see entire thing why I started to provide value absolutely for free. Now, I'm not saying I'm a rich brat right now or I'm earning huge amounts of money. No, not at all. Whatever I'm, whatever I'm earning right now, it's sufficient enough for me to survive because I'm not a greedy guy. Right. I'm not after that money part that much as compared to what I am after empowering other people and not going through that hurdles which I've already gone through. I know how it is when you don't have money to buy a piece of bread. I know how it is when you only have 300 rupees on your name in your bank account. All right. I know how it is when you join call centers, when you don't have a degree, you don't get any job. All right. Call center life, night life. And growing from that, being customer service head, sales guy, top sales executive, and then going through a journey wherein you get into digital marketing trainer, senior digital marketing trainer, and right now vlogging, blogging, and building a digital empire slowly and steadily. All right, I know how it is. The point over here is, guys, the point over here is learn, apply, and share. All right, learn, apply, and share. Education is not going to college or school or like uh, joining digital courses. Education is to educate within yourself. Right? Education is to educate within yourself. And this is not my line. This is a line which is from Think and Grow Rich book from Napoleon Hill. Right? Which is one of the classics uh, of all times in personal growth. Education is to educate from within. All right? That is what is education. I don't understand why people don't understand this, right? I don't understand why people don't understand this, that education is like learning, applying and sharing. 
plain and simple what do you do in school what do you do in school you learn something new every single day you apply that something new because you have to give examination treat that same thing in your own life you have to learn something new to grow yourself what does a normal employee does or what does a normal worker does whether it's an entrepreneur whether it's a businessman whether it's an employee anybody all right anybody what they do is they go to a certain level they hit that terror barrier and when they are over here their progress rate is constant they are into that constant stream of progress they don't even go up why because they stop learning they stop growing because if you stop learning you stop growing yourself so stop investing guys i'm not saying if you like engineering if you want to still survive in engineering only medical only pharmacy only college education only it's fine unless and until you are happy with what you are doing keep on doing that my point over here this video is especially for people who are not willing to go to college they are forcefully going to college they are investing lakhs and lakhs of rupees after that and they don't have and they are like they are they, they are fearing to invest even $1000 in a digital course they are even afraid of spending 300 rupees after a facebook advertisement all right if you are running an advertisement you are learning all right you will be measuring the performance whether it's performing well or not that is learning and applying and then sharing sharing it with yourself maybe with a blog will be maybe with a video right it's like always learn and apply that that's what i call the last formula las if you go to my blog digitalmarketingforfree.com there is one tagline the last formula learn apply share daily learn something new in your life daily apply that something new which you have learned in your life and daily share that something new which you have learned and applied in your life with somebody else now that third path of sharing depends on what you are doing currently but you always have to keep on learning and applying learning and applying learning and applying all right so people invest lakhs and lakhs of rupees after traditional college education just because they are hitting the terror barrier they have that paradigm over here in subconscious mind which is telling them not to do out of the box all right and they simply follow the old tradition that only if you go to college only if you invest lakhs and lakhs of rupees after degree then only you will succeed it's not the case it's not the case at least in this current digital scenario wherein you have unlimited opportunities around you unlimited opportunities around you who thought that dancing would be a great career all right who thought right now if you see reality shows dancing is almost like on the top level who thought singing would be at the top level reality shows on singing who thought just a simple talent of uh, wrestling would be at the top level dangal movies after that just because they followed their passion now when you try to do something out of the box you will hit that 96% of the people around you saying you are doing crap you are bullshit you're not going to succeed all these kind of negative statements you'll keep on hearing but then you have to be strong over here mentally be strong over here in saying them that you not going to succeed all right they will always tell you that hey buddy you have so become busy that you are not been able to see at clubs at parties you are not able to hang around with us a lot now you are wasting your life tell it to yourself that you are investing yourself you are investing in yourself you are educating yourself have that positive affirmation always over here that you are so happy and grateful all right be grateful for what you have so never ever have that fear of failure try because new ideas are going into your conscious mind all right new ideas are going into conscious mind but they are not able to stick around because your subconscious mind is so strong right now with all those old thoughts that you are not able to do new things so to change that paradigm to have that paradigm shift what you have to do is repetition of new ideas every single day you shower every day you don't even dare to skip a shower even for a single day you need physical cleaning why not mental cleaning over here all right i am saying this i am recording this video because i got a, i got one message early in the morning today right now as of time i am recording let me see the time it's 8 o'clock in the morning all right tuesday 
8 o'clock in the morning i actually note down on my whiteboard that i'm going to record that video in the evening why people invest 10 lakh rupees on an average on traditional college education but i couldn't resist myself by recording this video right now all right i skipped my work a little bit and i recorded this video just for you guys because if you are watching this video probably till this till this as of now i'm recording it's already 15 minutes now so if you are still watching me still listening to me listen to me guys one thing live your dreams and listen to your heart no matter what live your dreams and listen to your heart learn apply and share try something new fall and arise try something, try something new, new fall, fall and arise, and arise. That's how, that's, you how you yourself. Yourself. that's how you grow yourself that's how you succeed that's how you follow your heart. your heart all right this is digital prateek and i look forward to see you in another video stay awesome